Hi guys, in today's video I would like to show you this uh, IoT drain that I made which is controlled over Wi-Fi from my application so you can open and close it and it consists of uh, STM32 ESP8266 and a servo analog one and you can also check the status uh, on the web browser so it uh, automatically uh, re reloads the page every five seconds so this way you can know within five seconds like what's the status of your drain so you can change those parameters if you want, it's up to you. But that's it. And I've also made this app and uh, this hardware. So let me show you what it looks like and let's start with schematics. So as you can see, uh, it's quite similar to my previous project, uh, Smart IoT Elevator. Uh, that was called from my AI application uh, because I've uh, technically recycled this circuit and uh, instead of relay I've placed here this uh, servo so it's it consists only of this STM32 ESP8266 Wi-Fi module uh, this step-down module uh, this 3.3-volt uh, uh, voltage regulator and uh, this analog servo you need to change your uh, credentials, which are hard-coded. And also you need to define your PWM duty cycle when the drain is supposed to be open or closed. And uh, in your Android application, you also need to like uh, update this uh, local area network IP address. And uh, this application, as you can see, is uh, really simple. When you click on button open, it sends uh, open drain to uh, the IoT drain. And when you tap on uh, button close, uh, it, it sends uh, close drain command. And uh, when you type in your local area network uh, IP, uh, it uh, updates within five seconds so uh, that's all this is what it looks like uh, on a photo and here's the detail this, the servo only the rotates uh, the, the tiny joint uh, that's there and that's it so when it comes to this uh, Android application, I've already explained uh, this main activity. You need to go to your main activity Java uh, file and change uh, this uh, IP address. And uh, this uh, client class, uh, as you can see, it only uh, sends uh, the data and uh, then it closes uh, the connection. Uh, when it comes to STM32 code, uh, in mylibrary.h, you need to uh, update these three lines, and that's it. Uh, that's the minimum uh, work you need to do, otherwise it's completely open source. And uh, in this uh, main.c, uh, I'm just going to explain what it does. So, uh, after uh, everything initializes. Uh, I also uh, start the timers, uh, PWM, uh, open the drain. Uh, this open drain function sets the PWM of the servo to, to open uh, the drain. Uh, then I enable UART uh, interrupt and uh, initialize uh, ESP8266. And in this infinite loop, uh, when something is received by the ESP8266 module, 
uh, I run this message handler and after 24 hours uh, because of the safety I, I restart the whole system and uh, in this mylibrary.h uh, here you can see all the functions so here's the esp init function that tries to connect uh, to your local area network and uh, here's the message handler that is the most important uh, part so uh, when it receives the get request which is from the browser uh, it sends the data uh, and then it closes uh, the connection which is this last command uh, when it uh, receives open drain uh, command uh, it opens the drain uh, which is just uh, setting this pwm uh, duty cycle and uh, the same works for closed drain so when it receives this closed drain command it closes the drain with the pwm duty cycle so that's more or less it and uh, in this interrupt uh, c code uh, i've placed uh, in every hard file handler this uh, uh, reset command this reset function so in uh, this position in, in, on this line over here and also over here and uh, i'm using this timer too to uh, to make it work uh, as a timeout so uh, when i start receiving uh, something from UART, uh, which is from the ESP8266. Uh, then, uh, when something uh, starts being received, uh, I just uh, start counting the counter, and uh, those messages are, are quite short. So, uh, when something takes just too long, uh, uh, I uh, run the message handler anyway. But uh, as long as I receive stuff, uh, I just write it down to buffer. And uh, when it is uh, at the end of the buffer, I just uh, overwrite the last character. And uh, when the uh, end of line characters are received, like these four ones, uh, I automatically know that I've received uh, everything and I launch this message, message handler. So that's it. Uh, it's really similar to my previous project, so uh, there's nothing new. Uh, I hope you like this idea. Uh, in the future, it will be also controlled uh, from my uh, speech recognition AI. So uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye.